to a completely different episode of the Squadcast. I normally wasn't planning on ever doing any of these by myself, doing them solo, but I was out doing some work in the backyard today and I was just thinking about a few different things and kind of had a lot on my mind about game hunting in general. So I'm going to go over some topics with no, no script in any sort of way. This is just free form thoughts that have been in my brain. Uh, three topics are going to be uh, will game hunting be the same moving forward? Uh, thoughts on resellers in 2020 and uh, also a message to resellers. Um, starting off with will game hunting be the same moving forward? And you know, I'm a, I'm a super big optimist. Is that the word an optimist when it comes to anything in life? Uh, we could be in the worst situations in the world. And um, I know sometimes people can look at it as a bad thing too, because I might kind of graze over people who aren't optimistic or have a lot of anxiety or worry or fear. I'm not necessarily one of those type of people. I don't really get anxiety much. I, there was a period of my life where I did for like a year and that was it. Um, so I don't want to graze over people that have like actual, you know, uh, doubts and fears about things in real life. But again, me just being an optimist, you know, I was kind of like, yeah, game hunting is going to be the same. Everything in the world is going to be the same. Everything's going to be the same. Um, but then I was like, will everything be the same? Because not everyone has the same mindset as me uh, going forward, especially in the game hunting world. Uh, game hunting, swap meets, picking, goodwill, savers, all that type of stuff is very uh, secondhand. Everything is kind of out of our control. And yeah, even big manufactured things uh, necessarily aren't in our control, but we kind of know where they're coming from, how they're getting made. They're getting made by machines or in a certain way or a certain type of production. But game hunting, flea markets, swap meets, uh, eBay, online, offer up, yeah, it's very hand to hand. There's definitely a lot of germs and things that go on. And I thought at first, again, like I said, I'm like, okay, nothing will change. I would have no issues with going game hunting and I won't, I'm still gonna do it. But I feel like I'm gonna be so much in a different headspace while I'm out there because of everything that's going on. Um, you know, everything, the longer this goes on, the more serious everything feels. Obviously people dying is absolutely horrible. And obviously this is a first world problem. By the way, make that very clear. These are first world problems, but it's just my thought process on game hunting, uh, being such a big uh, retro hunter. Um, I think it is gonna feel different out there. I think the crowds will die down too quite a bit because this has gotten to a point where it's gotten very, very serious. You know, when it first started, it didn't seem as serious, not as big a deal, but it's gotten really serious. And I think it is going to hinder a lot of people and not just regular people who go to swap meets to look for whatever, you know, other things that aren't related to nostalgia or video games or toys. But I think a lot of those people are going to be hindered uh, out of going to the swap meet. And I think a lot of game hunters, toy collectors as well are going to want to go back out there but I think the thought of going back into, you know, the world, it's going to be a slow process of the world kind of like when this is all over to kind of get back into our, our groove of being in big groups with our large amounts of people. But swap meet again is a different thing because you're basically, you're digging through stuff that is junk, you know, quote unquote, uh, people's used stuff, people's old stuff, people's gross stuff. People are a million people touch this stuff, fidgeting through it. You know, they're sneezing, they're coughing. It's this is going to sound terrible, but I'll say it. Swap meets and flea markets aren't normally known to be, you know, full of people who are, <laughs> how do I say this, uh, you know, clean and all brushed up and cleaned up and perfectly. No, it's a lot of people who are looking for deals like us too. You know, like us too, I'm calling ourselves out and it, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of regular folk. I don't know how I say this without sounding offensive. I, I'm sure you all know what I mean, but it's not people in suits walking around with sanitizer. No, it's everyone digging in junk, gross, beat up clothes, all that jazz. Us too. We're a part of it. So, so I can, I can knock it cause I'm part of it. Uh, but I think it's going to be a different scene going forward. I'm, I think a big curiosity I have is going to be if retro prices, retro hunting, if that stuff is going to be affected moving forward when things kick back into gear. Um, I'm curious to see if a lot of these resellers, especially knowing a lot of resellers, um, if they're going to be like, yeah, the swap meets have been back for a month, two months, and the crowds aren't the same. The people aren't out there as much. These people don't show up anymore. I think there's going to be kind of a little bit of a fallback on the collecting scene. Um, not as far as online or anything like that, because that's different. 
but I think the hands on the feet, boots on the ground, uh, gorilla style, is that what you call it? Uh, game hunting, swap meets, toys. I think there's going to be a little bit of a hit on uh, that, but that's just my thoughts. Let me know yours. I just wanted, yeah, I kind of wanted to throw that out there because it was really on my mind. I'm like, man, this actually might change the scene a little bit. I'm curious to see if it does, which also kind of leads into uh, my thoughts on resellers uh, slash, you know, a message to resellers. Uh, even speaking to online purchases, um, even resellers at swap meets, this is a big part of that. Um, I feel like resellers, people who are selling need to be very careful about making sure that they clean their stuff, that they're kind of going forward with this new mindset that we kind of have in the world. <laughs> which is funny because I've always been very OCD with being clean and over, it's over the top, it's bad. I mean, you can ask anybody in my family, my friends, I'm, I have a crazy obsession with washing my hands, crazy obsession with washing, washing my face. I always have, uh, it's bad, my hands literally bleed sometimes. Uh, my face cracks because I wash it so much and I know that can't be healthy either, but uh, you know, we're kinda, People should be doing what we should have been doing the whole time. And as far as what I was saying about to video game, to, to resellers uh, in the toy market and the gaming market is we really have to be careful for those who do it tonight. I'm here and there, we'll sell some of my stuff. Uh, we really need to do our part in cleaning our stuff. I think it's time for us to very much cleanse it, make it something to where people feel safe to do this moving forward because when you get stuff and you see that it's dingy and gross and whatever, I think it's gonna give us that set of like, oh, this could have this on it, even though we would have never thought about that back in the day. We're just like, oh, it's dirty. Cool, I'll clean it when I get home. No big deal. I got you know, my magic eraser, my goo gone, whatever. But I think now there's gonna be a difference where when we see these dirty games that are super dingy, we might be like, because what's happening in the world has become so serious that it's like, ah, is there, is there something on this? Could, could, could I have, could this have coronavirus? Again, this might be overthinking it, overshooting my thought process and that, but hey, could it? I know that's gonna be in my brain when I go back out. So I think resellers, a big thing we need to be aware of, um, people that do it, and even when I do it, I need to clean my stuff better, let uh, kind of the world know, game hunting world, like we wanna be kind of setting a standard, like yeah, we're gonna clean our stuff. We're gonna make sure our stuff is clean. And I think that's something we all kind of need to like unanimous, unanimously agree on that, you know, the the dinginess, the grossness of the, what's on a lot of carts and a lot of physical media uh, needs to change a little bit at least for, even if it's just a mental perspective to kind of make us feel like it's, you know, perfectly safe and perfectly clean. Because again, I feel like there's gonna, I'm curious, I almost feel like I'm gonna wanna wear like gloves game hunting next time. Even though that might be an over-exaggeration. I don't know. This is just my, my thoughts out loud. Like, am I gonna, I feel like I'm not gonna wanna grab those dirty carts. I feel like my brain's just gonna be like, yeah, you should be careful with that riff. Like you're, you're, you know what just happened in the world. And I don't know when this thing's gonna end. I think the longer this goes on, the more paranoid we're gonna be going forward. And again, I can firmly say it's it's not gonna stop me uh, or our friends from game hunting. That's just my life. Uh, that is just part of my passion in life. I have to have that. That's just, uh, it keeps me sane uh, more than anything. I've realized that during this. I'm like, man, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely miss game hunting. I not even necessarily buying a certain game, but the, the thrill of the hunt, as the game chasers, you know, said back in the day, uh, the thrill of going out there and looking for stuff and just having fun uh, poking around at toys and video games and stuff like that. But I, I really want to know what everybody thinks. Um, do you guys think that it will affect the market going forward at all? Uh, as far as at least like people going out there and finding stuff, you know, conventions, uh, stuff like that. Are you going to be hesitant to go to a convention? Are you going to be hesitant to go game hunting and grab everything? Um, even ordering ordering online, are you going to be a little hesitant being like, well, did they clean this properly? Was this handles handled correctly? What if they had Corona? Now I have it. And again, I know these are first world problems. This is nothing in comparison to people who are losing people and things that are happening, people that are getting sick and people with weakened immune systems. Obviously, this is nothing compared to that. Uh, let's never compare it to that. This is just uh, for my world that I'm in right now with what I'm living with. Uh, you know, something that it's been on my mind, curious about it because game hunting is a big part of my life. Uh, so again, let me know, uh, resellers too, if you sell stuff, let's let's clean our stuff up as good as can be. Let, let's, even if it's just for mental peace of mind, let's do that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. All right, different style of squad cast today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see if I can get this out in the same day. It's Sunday. Let's see if I can do that. I'm not gonna edit it for sure.
throw it up. Bye, guys.